Welcome to Rittle University College. My name is Liam and I am a soil scientist here at the university. So I, I do lots of research with the soil, I, um, I, I analyse various agricultural projects and other conservation projects to make sure that the soil is healthy and good for plant growth. Uh, the soil is the most important part of the ecosystem as far as I'm concerned and it's, it's not, not, not lots of people understand it very well at all and it often gets forgotten. Uh, it, it's amazing that in one teaspoon of soil there's over one billion organisms and that's, uh, that could be up to 10,000 different species. So in seven teaspoons of soil is more organisms than there are people on the planet Earth. And so one field can have up to 15 tons of different biological life. So in this video I'm going to talk to you about a couple of different aspects of the soil. One of them is the soil texture how it feels and the structure of it, and also a really important feature which is the soil pH, which measures the acidity of it. Soils are categorised by their texture, and their texture makes up the structure of the soil, and it is the ratio of three different soil particles, sand, silt and clay. Sand are much larger particles, whereas silt and clay are much smaller, and clay is formed from very, very soft rock. As a loamy soil is, is a soil that has an even equal ratio of sand, silt and clay and it's the most ideal soil for plant growth although different soils all over the world are capable of providing habitat for um, all sorts of plants and plants can grow in pretty much any soil conditions. So this is a sandy soil and as you can see it's got much larger particles in it and feels a lot more gritty. So this is a, a loamy soil this has got a much more even ratio of sand, silt and clay. As you can see, it's much darker and more sticky. pH measures the acidity of the soil. And it, what it actually does is it measures hydrogen. And some people say pH stands for the power of hydrogen. So pH is measured on a scale from 1 to 14, where pH 1 is very, very, very strong acidic. And it's something like hydrochloric acid is a pH 1. And your stomach acid is around a pH 2. Moving on to pH 7 is neutral, so pH 7 is right in the middle between acidity and what's called alkalinity, or whether it's alkaline. And so anything above pH 7 is where we're, is alkaline. And normally uh, neutral and above pH 7 is influenced by chemicals such as calcium and, um, and normally uh, limestone as well can influence the um, alkalinity of the soil. So I've set up here uh, some simple analysis of a couple of soils that I've collected for my research. One of them is from a beech forest in uh, Germany that used to be an old glacier. And then one of them is from a field nearby my university. So we're going to look at the difference between these soils. So before I, I measure the pH of the soil, I have to do what's called a calibration of my pH probe. And then I have these two solutions, one of them is, is accurate to pH 4 and the other one is uh, accurate to pH 7. And I, I tell my, my pH probe that this is pH 7 and this is pH 4 and then it creates a curve that then it can measure other pHs along that line. So this is the soil from the beech forest in Germany. And, and uh, as you can see it's very, it's very, very acidic at pH 4. And it, this is because it's, because it's so sandy and it has a high organic matter content, this lowers the pH quite considerably and makes it acidic. So this is the loamy soil. So this, has got a, this is the soil from uh, a field near my university. And this has got an even ratio of sand, silt and clay. And as you can see, this is much higher pH and even into the alkaline with pH 8. This is because of the uh, calcium deposits in the soil that's raising the, the pH to above neutral. So just to give you an idea of um, the different scale of pH, I've taken some lemon juice from this lemon here. And as you can see, a lemon juice is very, very acidic, around pH 2, and that's about the same as our stomach acid. That's because lemon juice has got a high amount of citric acid in it. You could be the next generation of soil scientists and because the soil is so important, we really need you to help save our planet.